Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Theo from Fino Concept, and today we are going to try our hands on this. So, um, this is the avatar icon or avatar picture of MKBHD. This guy can review just about anything, so I'll leave a link in the description below for you to follow him as well if you are interested in dope tech so today we are going to attempt creating something like this and it's quite simple i'm going to show you how to do that in adobe photoshop so uh initially i was going with this image right here then i just thought about it and i said probably you have an image you want to use but the clarity is quite low so i went for this one instead and now if you zoom in you can see that uh, it's quite blur it was taken within a building so the image is very bad so yeah even with an image like this you can get or you can create that avatar and it's going to look very nice so um let's close these two up okay um so first of all what i like to do is check my image size i have to make it as big as possible so i think um, anything above uh, 2000 should be okay for the width and height obviously then I'll just click on cancel now the first thing I'm going to do is create a layer on top of this because you are going to be working in layers now uh, I actually like naming my layers so I'll start with this and probably call this um, head the head layer and i'll group it up and call it head so anything that goes into this is head so i'll start by sketching all over the head now to do this i'll be using the pen tool the first one here and i'll change this you have you see you have two options right here currently shape and path i'll change it to shape and in shape i'm going to select a uh, fill color i don't know currently let's just run with white and make sure the stroke is set to none so we are just going to fill it up with a specific color so let's just go ahead and sketch over here now um, anytime you create a sketch or you create um, an outline using the pen tool and you have a problem like out here trying to sketch over to this side might be quite um, bad so to get away with this you just hold down the alt or option key then you click and drag this um point right back to this anchor point right here so i'll go back and recreate this shape again i'll drag it back so i'll go ahead and create the ear you know what let's just forget about the ear for now we are interested in the head so let's just go around the head um neglecting the face and other parts neglecting the hair actually okay so let's just go ahead let me reduce the opacity so that i can actually see okay so right around here should be just fine and i'll close it up like so so let's increase the opacity and see so currently we have this so again i'll create another layer and call this layer um here sorry here now i'll put her beneath my head layer then i'll just draw over so let's change the color of the hair now i actually like brown i like sampling my colors from the actual image and since this image is bad i'm just going to um, select a random color which looks quite brownish so i don't know probably this this looks okay to me okay so we are going with this color now back to our hair layer we are going to draw over the reason why i said we should bring this beneath it is because uh, we don't want it to affect the shape of our head right here so let's try to do this as fast as possible um because this is a tutorial i'll not be going too much in depth into it but 
obviously yours has to be much nicer than mine so i'll create another layer called this es why do i keep adding d i'll call this es now for es i'll just draw over the es like so so i'll extend it right around here So basically you are just creating sketches of shape on top of the actual layer. Now for the ears, I'll double click since it's a shape, I'll double click, sample a color from here, then darken it up. So probably as dark as this should be okay. You know what? I would like to make this stand out quite a bit. Okay, I think this should be okay. Now, if you want to use the same color, I will link this in the description below. I'll, I'll leave it somewhere here. Okay. So again, let's sample and darken it up. I think I'm okay with this. So again, I'll create another layer. Click and drag. Now let's um, add neck to the head layer. Okay, so maybe here. Holding down Alt, I click and drag back here, here, something like this. Okay, so I hit enter on my keyboard, double click, sample from here actually, because we want it to be as dark as the ears. So um, we are done with the head. Let me zoom out. So basically, this is it for the head. Now we want to go ahead and start with the clothes. So I'll create another layer. Call this clothes. Or just top or something. So I create a layer on top and this would be our red color. So every part which involves red, I'm just going to create a selection around it or create a shape. For that so i'll start over here like so i move to pass holding now pass holding now alt actually now i want this i'm not going to bother myself with this black right now i'm just going to create a shape around that particular place so holding down shape um the space bar Holding down the space bar, you get this hand um, tool for you to move your artwork around. And the hand tool is also somewhere here. Yeah. So you don't always have to hold down the space, um, space bar. But it's quite simple. Um, I'm not going to consider the arms for now. So I just create an outline over here. Just a rough sketch. Again, reduce your opacity so that I can see the other edges. Okay, I think this is good. So uh, let's just end it here. Now, if I increase the opacity, you see this is on top of our actual layer. So I'll click and drag clothes beneath head so that head will be overlapping like so. Now we want to sample the color from this area. So not too dark, maybe the original color. So this is what we have. And again, I'm going to hide the red color. Now I want to work with the black part here. Or better so, let's just forget about that black part. So uh, let's create shadows for our red layer so again with the pen to any part which looks like a, sh um, a darkened part of red let's just create a selection around that part so uh, this part would be one hit enter on my keyboard now I notice I have not created any layer I have not named any layer it's because I want to merge this particular layer up all together 
so this part you just be creating shapes and once you're done you are going to merge all of them up so um i don't know something like this maybe somewhere around here reduce the opacity i want every part around here to be dark enough oops alt okay so this part i'm just creating a random shape now i'll move over here because that part is also dark enough or better still let me start from here enter on the keyboard again go for this part as well now like I said I'm I'm not going to make my two perfect because that's going to take up a lot of time so I run somewhere around here let me reduce the opacity I make sure you don't click too close to another anchor point or it's going to create uh, a point on top of that so yeah hit enter I'll create another one let's make this our last one okay so let's see what we have if I increase the opacity to 100 this is what we have so for all the darken parts i'm going to highlight all of them by holding down shift and clicking on the first and the last so i'll merge it up merge shapes then i'll double click and sample the dark part from here now this is what we have we have this dark part now if it's too dark for you uh, probably you can select the red then you just darken it up yourself so something like so will be just fine but i'll just go with what we got and probably increase it slightly so i'm okay with this now uh, i don't think we are done we actually forgot this particular part so i'll just create uh one like that let's make it two so another one will be here enter okay so again we we'll merge these two up i have to make sure it is here now i'll merge these two up now you notice that uh once this layer is beneath the this shape is beneath the top shape if I match the two shapes up, it's going to take the top shapes uh, original color. Now this is very handy. It makes it quite simple for us. So uh, this is what we are getting. Um, I just want to add in a few tweaks to it. So let's see the final work. Okay. Now this time around, we are going to select our pen tool again instead of uh, shape you are going to change it to path now the reason for this i'll show you in a short while so i'll grab my brush to create any random layer now if i brush over it this is how big my brush size is so i'll reduce it to maybe about five pixel let's try brushing again okay so five pixel is okay for me now with this layer selected I'll go back to my pen tool I'll create outlines which will be right here so somewhere around this area will be an outline so again if I hold down alt and bring it back you can see so I'll right click go to stroke path and make sure it's set to brush now you can simulate pressure uh, or not let's try simulate pressure first it's okay and you can see we have this stroke 
over here now we want to create as many as possible for this particular shape so i'll create another one over here like so right click stroke path make sure it's set to brush hit ok now this is we are using the brush preset so if i increase the size of the brush and i select this layer create any part stroke that part is going to increase just like um, the brush so i'll go back to my brush and i'll reduce the size to five pixel one more time okay so let's see this is what we are getting so we just need to create some more outlines right around this area to make it stand out so i'll hide it one more time now uh, if you want to do this particular part you can continue using the shape tool the pen tool was is set to shape and fill it up so basically this is the entire idea i don't want to make this tutorial too lengthy so i'll just go ahead and fill out the other portions i want to add uh, the few outlines to and when i'm done i'll just wait but before that if you select this entire part i want to show you that once you are done select your head and your clothes um groups hold down control hold down alt and press e this is going to merge them on top or if you think that's too much for you or too lengthy for you just create a duplicate of this ctrl j or click and drag onto the new layer icon which is right here then right click with both of them selected right click and click on merge layers so this is basically going to create the same thing for you and we are done go to fx and create a stroke around this particular thing so uh, the stroke i'm going to use black black stroke um, the position is going to be outside on each side any way you choose to create yours it should be just fine i'm going to set mine to outside and make it right around 15. so once i'm done just hit ok and this is what we have so if you are done with that make sure um, you create a new layer probably a color background because i have a very bad background which is this one then i'll just grab my paint bucket tool and just make sure it's set to white paint it white and basically that's it so if i have a white and um, black background i'll change probably create a gradient uh, radial gradient reverse it and increase it to 1000 so thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of our videos don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our future videos and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends with all that said this is theo from Fino concept and i'll see you guys in the next one